Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about Linux again and some unfortunate events have taken place. So I've been uh, using Budgie on Arch Linux for quite a while now and uh, so this weekend I had some serious troubles that basically in the end I ended up switching teams. So what happened is that I needed to uh, install a new software on my computer and when I tried to install it Pacman told me that well this is not in the repositories anymore well because I did my last full system update a week ago so that version that was uh, in my database was not um, in the repository anymore because there was some update going on there so to install the software I needed to do the full system update which uh, updated from the GNOME 3.34 version to the uh, 3.36 version and uh, so the budget desktop uses a lot of uh, things uh, from GNOME and so that of course is uh, affecting my system and when there was the update of the GNOME from uh, 3.32 uh, to, to 3.34 that was <laughs> also a troubling experience with the budget desktop so that time I couldn't use uh, budget desktop for like two weeks from the official repositories because the maintainer didn't build it properly against the new GNOME stack so this time this didn't happen this time what happened is that while I was running the full system update uh, I went out to deal with the garbage and when I came back the uh, system already locked and so my uh, lock screen app for the budgie desktop the budgie screensaver was installed from the AUR and now that uh, all the underlying dependencies have been changed by the system update <laughs> well I couldn't uh, unlock my system so I had to go in a TTY so with a control alt F5 uh, I could drop into the console and I could force myself to log out and then when I logged in back to the budget desktop from that point I tried to reinstall the budget screensaver from the AUR which uh, failed to compile, compile so I couldn't compile it and then what happened after that was <laughs> that uh, I decided okay so this basically the budget screensaver is just a fork of the uh, original the GNOME uh, screensaver and the GNOME screensaver is in the official repositories oh because what happened what happened is so in the budget desktop I tried to shut down my computer by clicking on the proper icon and it wouldn't shut down and uh, I also couldn't log out so I had to uh, shut down the system and log out using the command line. So this problem was solved when I installed the GNOME screensaver again, which is... I don't know why why this affected the system. It did not uh, do that before. So when I first installed the budget desktop on the Arch Linux, there was... Uh, I didn't have any lock screen application and the only thing that effect was affected is that I cannot lock the uh, the screen but I could log out I could restart I could shut down but this for some reason uh, broke okay that uh, that problem was solved finally so well after that what happened is that so I've been having this uh, problem with the budget desktop for a while and I was just trying to take more screenshots about like how the budget window manager is basically eating up my memory so it's like first you are at like 8.6 percent and then you are at like 18.2 percent and so i could also manage to take a screenshot with uh, so this one is uh, 41 percent of the memory was eaten by the what budgie window manager and so this problem was so severe that sometimes i could not start recording in uh, the obs program because there is no, not enough available RAM because the window manager is eating it. So yeah, you can see that I have eight gigabytes of RAM, which is you know, it's not 
You know, it's not a lot, but it's not, <laughs> it's a lot more than your window manager should be using like 41% of that. So after all these problems with the budget desktop, I finally just decided that, okay, let's just drop a comment about this in the uh, Solus forum because they are the developers of the budget window manager. So I got, maybe they can, you know, give me some idea. And also, you know, on Arch Linux, not a lot of people uses the budget desktop. So even last time it took a long time for uh, for a solution to emerge there. So that's why it was not a good good idea to do that. But I asked directly the developers of the budget desktop and maybe I should have just submitted a bug report to their GitHub instead of asking on their forums. But anyways, I got a I got the suggestion on their forums to basically um well just uh, restart like the budget window manager and like the whole whole system just uh, set it up back to its factory default settings because maybe something that is running like on the on my uh system tray or something like not system tray something running in the panel some application there might be the culprit so I did that and <laughs> I went back to this very, um, well, very Puritan setup, which I don't really like. The default uh, budgie uh, layout is not, not, not really for me. So I got back to that, but the problem still persisted. But before I could tell them that oh, this did not happen, please tell me how do I restore my, <laughs> my settings. I did a, like I saved all my dot files did a backup of my dot files before I uh, did this change. So I was hoping that, you know, I get some, I can ask for help on the forum. So how do I reset that? And well, I couldn't ask the follow up question on the forum because my topic was closed by the Solus developers telling me that, well, this is not a budget desktop uh, support thread. This is only for the Solus operating system, so you should go to the Arch Linux forum with this kind of questions. So, well, I was like, okay, so let me try to get my budget desktop back to where how it looked like. But I was kind of, well, maybe I let me not do that. What if instead I will just go to the Cinnamon desktop, which I already have installed on my computer as a backup first time the budget desktop uh, broke and I can if, if I just put in the work to restore my budget desktop, then why don't I just set up the Cinnamon desktop, which is uh, maybe more people are using it on Arch Linux. It's a more popular desktop than the budget desktop. So maybe I will have better luck with this. So that's what I did. I have switched to the Cinnamon uh, desktop environment as a permanent solution for now. So <laughs> this is uh, where we are now. And as you could see, I customized it to some degree. I have a lot of stuff on my panel down there. And uh, so I also have these nice docs around here, which, yeah, these are fancy, more fancy than what was in the budget desktop. I will uh, go into more detail in my uh, next video, how I managed to do all this. And uh, I will basically show each step what I took to make the Cinnamon desktop fit my workflow perfectly. And so I switched teams to the Cinnamon crew. I'm still on Arch Linux though. I'm still on Arch Linux. It's now it's not Arch slash Budgie. It's going to be Arch slash Cinnamon for a while. And maybe, you know, I'll, after this uh, experience, maybe I will just give some other mainstream DEs and window managers a chance to shine. And maybe I will, you know, switch more in the future. So if you have any suggestions, on uh, you know what uh, other 
desktop environments I could set up to fit my workflow or what you want me to try, then leave a comment. Uh, any kind of discussion is welcome, of course. And well, so I am switching teams now. And <laughs> this is what will be this channel about Cinnamon Desktop. And I will see you in the next video. Subscribe, give a thumbs up and comment. You know the drill. Bye bye.